Dragon Ball Super Chapter 99 is here, and I'm extremely happy to say that we're at the final stretch. Yes, after what's damn near been a full year, we're finally going to be done with this arc, which is insane. Around this time last year, I literally remember how excited I was when they announced that Goten and Trunks were going to be the leads. This is because I thought they'd breathe new life into the series by focusing on a new generation. But dear god, if only I knew that we'd be walking into dark times. Anyways, this chapter covers around 5 minutes, putting us at the hour and 27 minute mark, which is really great to say. Last time I said that we'd have around 3-4 to four chapters left, but seeing as where we are right now, we probably only have one more stinker left until we hopefully get something new. Anyways, let me not waste any more time and let's hop right into the chapter. Opening up on the first 8 pages, we see Orange Piccolo going toe to toe with Cell Max. As you can see, he's trying his absolute best to buy as much time for Gohan to power up, even going as far as ripping off his shirt to distract Cell Max with his chiseled abs. Unfortunately for him, Cell Max doesn't swing that way and our favorite Namekian gets a pretty bad beating. So bad in fact that within the next 5 pages, we see the remainder of the Z Fighters trying to join the fray, but they last all but 15 seconds before they're defeated. Anyways, the next 10 pages sees Piccolo being dragged back into battle, with Cell Max landing a devastating kick to the Namekian side. After this, Piccolo would proceed to take an even worse beating than before as we see Cell Max eviscerate his right arm and then proceed to toss him in the air and absolutely blast him. Now after 23 pages, this is where we finally see something different, as up until now everything was pretty much a one for one to the movie. Here we see Cell Max charge up a condensed key attack that would have definitely killed Piccolo, but Gamma 1 rushes in to intercept the attack. In the film, none of this happens as Piccolo just gets blasted until he passes out and promptly lands on Cell Max's hand like Nappa did with Goku back in the Saiyan Saga. Moving on, the next 4 pages gives us the birth of Beast Gohan and I gotta say it's pretty good. I honestly didn't expect to like this scene a second time. It may have something to do with the scene making it seem as if Piccolo was actually dead in Gohan's eyes because of that last attack that Cell Max lobbed at Piccolo. Now the next 6 pages sees Gohan easily taking control of the fight like he does in the movie, from tanking Cell Max's punch to landing a ferocious kick to the android's stomach. And on the 6th page we see exactly how Piccolo survived Cell Max's powered up key blast attack, and that was thanks to Gamma 1 and his enhanced android barrier. Now, within the next six pages, we see Piccolo show off his durability as he jumps right back into the action mere seconds after getting his butt handed to him. Here, we see him use his arms to hold Cell Max down as Gohan begins to charge up a special beam cannon, and this looks absolutely vicious. And seeing as we don't see the beam fired within this chapter, I can only imagine how insane it's going to look when it actually gets drawn next month. Anyways, the last six pages sees Cell Max trying to escape Piccolo's grasp by flying away, but thanks to Krellin, 18, Gotenks, and Gamma 1, that doesn't happen as they break both of his wings and essentially ground him. Which is a bit weird cause last time I checked, Dragon Ball characters don't need wings to fly, so I wonder why this worked here. Anyways, I'm pretty sure that this scene right here is a manga exclusive as none of this happens in the movie, and if I'm being honest, it was a nice way to include everyone besides Piccolo and Gohan, but like I said before, it's just a bit weird how Cell Max can't fly without his wings. And speaking of Gohan, the chapter ends with with him fully charging up the special beam cannon and he'll be ready to fire it off next month and hopefully wrap up this year long nightmare. Anyways, thank you to everyone that watched this video, I hope you have a great day, peace peace, deuce deuce.